GM. God, this is the worst intro I've ever done in my life. Hey guys, what's going on? This is Atharva here, and third web today released Solana on the platform, so anyone can deploy Solana programs right to third web without any Rust knowledge. Are you one of those anti-Rust kids who don't want to learn Rust but still want to get their feet dirty in Solana? Well, just admit it. There are many kinds of people in this earth, and I'm one of them. Yeah. So in this video, we are going to try out Solana on third web, and remember that the code is hot, unlike you. and the code might change any time and if something in the code breaks you can check the docs of third web and check if something has changed so this is the demo of the application so we have a page here very simple page so this is third web boilerplate we didn't even change anything uh, so yeah we have this button called select wallet so we click on that and we click on phantom because that's what we have installed in the browser so let's click on that and now we can just connect our wallet Now you can see this a very pretty looking form. Of course, we are not going to focus on styling in this episode. Not that I don't know CSS. Well, I definitely don't know CSS, but anyway, so we don't have time to waste on CSS, I guess. Yeah. So, <laughs> we have this two text boxes, name, description, and then we can choose our file. So, first of all, let's go ahead and give this NFT a name. So, we can just give it like test NFT. and we are going to give it a description that description we don't waste brain cells here description now we can choose file let's wait for this to open let's select this to 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 and now let's go ahead and mint an nft now as usual we haven't set any loading state but you can do that if you want to but as we are legends we don't do that here so yeah let's wait for this to load and now we can just approve transaction so by now third web has already completed uploading the image to ipfs and all the metadata to ipfs so we don't need to worry about all of that so we just need to wait for the nft to get minted so yeah it says nft minted successfully it was super fast i didn't expect it to to be so fast so yeah now let's go to the nft tabs here and in just some time this should turn 5 and we should have another nft here so it is turn 5 and this is the one we've just minted so let's go ahead and open it on solana fm to show the proof that we just minted it and yeah it says a few seconds ago and it shows the image properly and if we check the metadata we have all the metadata here and this is the ipfs url which third web made for us and we don't need to worry about all the storage and all so yeah let's go ahead and start coding this stuff up so we are in our terminal and we can just use the command to install a nextjs application with third web built in so you don't need to install third web manually so to do that we are going to say npx third web and at the rate latest so that it doesn't use any previous version and then we are going to say um create and then we are going to use template of next type script solana starter you can use javascript if you want to but in this episode we are going to use typescript because they have made template for it and we don't need to worry about it so let's give it a name of solana test yt i guess now it's going to take some time to install all the dependencies and we are not going to wait of course for this to complete for a long period of time so i am going to take the suffering and you are going to time travel okay so the installation is complete now we can just go to cd solana test yt and now we can just do code dot and yarn dev in a single command because we are lazy so yeah let's go ahead and do that and this should open visual studio code for us let's get this to full screen and now let's go back to the browser and let's go to localhost 2000 and reload this and we should have the basic boilerplate template i hope this doesn't take much time let's wait okay so it already has connected our wallet we can just disconnect it if we want to and we are also going to go ahead and remove this from trusted application so that we don't need to Uh, so that we can start from scratch again so yeah it's a select wallet and we are going to do this but let's go ahead and first do something here so first let's walk through the entire code so we have pages here and inside we have app.tsx 
and here instead of the regular third web provider which we use for evm chains we are going to import this from react slash solana and then we are going to use this and the network we are going to use devnet we are not going to use mainnet because we are poor so yeah <laughs> let's go ahead and save this remember this to change this to devnet or you will lose all your funds if you have those in mainnet so yeah now prettier is taking some time for whatever reason okay it's done now if we go to index.tsx and we have all this code uh, we better not touch this and break anything so yeah we just need to add to this code so what we need to do is first of all we need to check the state if the wallet is connected or not because we have this connector wallet multi button which is imported from solana uh, package from solana so we need some way to figure out if the user has connected his wallet or not so to do that this is quite tricky till now but later third web might get something in the docs so you can always check the docs and i'll leave it in the description below if you want to now let's go ahead and check the state so we can just say const wallet is equal to use wallet and this is imported from solana and we can use dot public key and then we can convert this to boolean value by just doing const is connected and we can just do wallet and i asked about is there a better way to do this and third web team told me that they are working on it so by the time you're watching this video there might be already some way to get this a better hook from third web so yeah you can check that out if it's already out so yeah now we can just go ahead and here we are going to have an a uh, brace so that we can execute code here and then we can just check if the user is connected so is connected then render a div which says connected so let's do that let's save this file let's go back here and now let's select our wallet and let's see if this works connect perfect it says connected now in order to interact with all the contracts we need to first deploy a program uh, so in Solana it's called program and in EVM it's called contracts. I'm sorry for that typo in spelling. Uh, whatever it's called, yeah, we can just leave it. And let's go to thirdweb.com and here we can just go ahead and start building. And by default our Solana wallet is connected but if your EVM wallet is connected you can just disconnect and connect your Solana one. Now we can just deploy a new program so we can just we are going to deploy an nft collection in this one and we're going to name it as testing on yt because i don't have a better name remember to change this to devnet and make sure your phantom wallet is also set to devnet yeah you are currently on devnet perfect now you can just click on deploy now this should be fast enough this won't take a lot of time so let's wait let's wait for this load approve one thing great about solana is that it's super fast yeah it's already deployed usually in, on evm chains i need to pause the video for this to complete but this is super fast and that's impressive and now we can just mint nfts right here and then we can just do whatever we want to but since we love torture we aren't going to mint any nfts here and we are going to mint nfts on our website just like shown in demo so yeah now all we need to do is just check out all the codes here so, so there are a lot of useful codes you can just check them out if you want to but i have already done the hard work so yeah we are going to just go straight in so we are going to copy this address because we of course we need that address now let's go back to the code and we are going to use const and we are going to open braces here i'll tell you why and then we are going to say use program and we are going to first paste in the address uh, i would recommend that you use some kind of environment variables or something and the second parameter is the three types of programs so here we are here we have used nft collections so we are just going to use this and we we'll do this so that we get better intelligence so yeah now we are just going to use uh something went wrong so yeah here we are just going to get program is loading um, there are a lot of things you can get from that but we are just going to get these two things and then we can just go ahead and remove this first of all uh, before removing that we can just create the states we need for our text boxes 
so i'm just going to copy this we are not going to waste a lot of time in this so hold on so these are the states we need we need to import use state perfect and uh, we are going to have an ft name description and file as shown in the demo and then on the jsx part we just need to remove this and we need to add our own jsx for that and let's i'm going to copy this because we don't need to waste a lot of time we are just going to run through the code so yeah you can just save this and uh, i mean you can just pause the video and you can just type if if you want to but here we have an input type text and we have set name input type uh, text area and then we have a set description and then we are just setting files on the state some basic stuff some basic react stuff uh, which i assume you should be done with or you should uh, if you haven't done it what i even why are you even watching this video you should learn react first so yeah now button on click mint nft of course it has to show some error because we haven't made the function yet so let's go ahead and make the function and we are going to call at the same so we're just going to copy the name and we're just going to say const mint nft is equal to this is going to be an asynchronous function and whenever we use an asynchronous function remember that we use a try cache so if things go south you always have a backup so we are going to do console dot error and then we are going to say alert you can use toasts if you want to toasts are way better and i know many people are going to say why do i use alerts but yeah it's just a short tutorial let's get over with it and then we are going to say alert error minting nfts nft one oh there's only one nft and in the try block we are going to do the main magic and which is surprisingly not a lot of lines because third way makes it easier for us so let's go ahead and do first of all let's check if it's loading or not so if this is loading we are not supposed to proceed further or we will be in deep deep trouble so we are going to say const mint is equal to await program dot mint and this is going to take a metadata so metadata can include a lot of different things you can just check this here and use whatever you want to but here we are just going to use three different things name description and image uh, which is file so yeah the file you need to just put in just from the state you don't need to convert it to text or something like that i did that mistake and i was regretting i was crying and uh, yeah finally someone helped me from the discord server and it just worked out so yeah now what this mint has is the address for the nft so you can just go ahead and alert it out so let's go ahead and alert we are going to use backticks we are going to say nft minted successfully and we are just going to have the mint here so that we can just display it and because it's a useful information now let's go back now let's go ahead and say this one has a name of testing <laughs> third web on yt it's cool isn't it so yeah now let's go ahead and choose the file we are going to use the same image because i don't want to show you my other images on my laptop so yeah <laughs> let's click on mint nft now let's wait for this to complete it should be lightning fast it should not take a lot of time so phantom should be here anytime yeah so that means that ipfs upload was successful now let's click on approve now this should also not take a lot of time dude i love this i don't need to pause videos every two seconds so yeah let's wait nft minted successfully now let's go to phantom wallet into our assets area and there should be a new collection popping up right here let's wait for that yep this is the this is the testing on yt collection so yeah uh, notice how this name got from the third web so third web doesn't have this name just for showcase it actually uses that nft collection name to save on blockchain so yeah we have this nft here and we can just go ahead and check this on solana fm just in case somebody is saying that this isn't even minted so yeah let's wait and the image is here it says a minute ago and if we check the metadata here 
we have the IPFS and everything here so yeah this is how this thing works so yeah that's how you can create web3 apps on Solana using third web and right now third web only has three types of programs NFT collection NFT drop and token and pretty soon there will be more way more programs like an EVM chains they have marketplace and also they will have in Solana as well we just need to wait for that time so yeah if this video was helpful to you make sure you click on the subscribe button and like button uh, we are really close we are like 30 subscribers away from 1000 subscribers and I cannot wait like I'm so excited uh, I have some amazing tutorials coming up like I want to make an entire series web 3 from beginner to advanced like whatever the name is so yeah make sure if you want to support me you can just click the subscribe button so yeah i will see you guys in the next one bye